Hello all and welcome back to this course on digital systems. So we looked at you know the uh, some very essential circuits of digital systems namely the decoder, the multiplexer and so on and till now we have always been discussing how to implement such um, modules or such blocks using lower level standard cells as in we have what we call as the basic elementary logic gates. Okay, so you know let us just continue that discussion here and we will say we have a standard cell that allows us to use okay this is my standard cell right and I have let's say two input AND gates okay uh, three input AND gates and four input AND gates okay and likewise I have the corresponding OR gates okay Okay, so this is my standard cell library that is available to go ahead and build whatever circuits that I want. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just refresh our memory first with what a 3 is to 8 decoder is with, with enable, with enable. Okay, now let's say that we have, you know, of course, the 3 is to 8 decoder is a 3 input gate with 8 outputs. Okay, so I'll call this A2, A1, A0, and 8 outputs Y0, Y1, all the way to Y7, and there is an other enable here. Okay. So, this is my 3 is to 8 decoder, right? And we know how to implement this using the basic elementary standard cell gates that are available here, okay? So, this is very straightforward. I basically just create the true and complement forms of my input, inputs. right and then I have my four input gate here one two three four remember we needed the four input and gate because we wanted to add that enable okay so uh, yeah so this is a2 a1 a0 and this is going to be my enable right likewise so you get y0 here and then you get y uh, y7 here okay the four input and gate will take this input Okay, so this is essentially the uh, standard cell implementation of this 3 is to 8 decoder with an enable. So, whenever depending on the combination of A0, A1, A2 and enable, if the enable is 0, of course, none of the outputs will go high. If the enable is 1, then depending on the input combination, one output, only one output will go high at a given time, okay depending on the uh, binary uh, combination that is A2, A1 and A0. So, if you take this, this is the binary number, right, A2, A0, A1, A0, with this being the LSB, whatever number this corresponds to, right, binary number this corresponds to, that kth output will go high.
okay so sometimes we you know having built such a 3 is to 8 decoder we would want to do one of the two right we would want to either implement a smaller decoder using this 3 is to 8 decoder or we might want to implement a higher decoder using this 3 is to 8 decoder okay so let's start with a simpler problem let's say i want to implement a 2 is to 4 decoder okay using a 3 is to 8 Okay, there, there are times when you might want to do this for various reasons, for convenience, for, um, you know, if it's not a very critical component, uh, you know, you're not too worried about delay and, you know, area and stuff like that, you might just use such a decoder, you know, 3 is to 8 and implement a 2 is to 4 decoder. Okay, so, <coughs> so this is very straightforward. If you look at a 2 is to 4 decoder, what is a 2 is to 4 decoder? It basically has inputs a1 a0 outputs y0 y1 y2 and y3 okay this is a 2 is to 4 decoder so now of course, you could go ahead and implement this using the standard cell elements itself, okay, the AND, NAND, uh, I mean AND or inverter gates, no problem, right, there's nothing, uh, you know, sacrosanct about that, we can, we know how to do it, okay, but the point is, how do I implement this using a 3 is to 8 decoder now, okay, so a 3 is to 8 decoder, of course, is a super set of this, right, it has 3 inputs, 8 outputs, we just need to take a subset of them right so if i were to look at this and just look at the implementation here i would blow this up and then internally i would simply instantiate a 3 is to 8 decoder okay that i built in the previous page and i have three inputs right this is uh, a2 so what i'm going to do now is i will just not put i will i will label the uh, input output of this decoder internally a2 a1 a0 okay and i have y0 y1 y2 y3 all the way to y7 okay and this is my 3 is to 8 decoder right i'll keep that in a separate box this is my 3 is to 8 decoder so what i have done is i have taken these pins sorry i have taken these pins from here right and these output pins from here and put them inside okay so i am saying this is my 3 is to 8 decoder this is the interface that the decoder provides now what should I do in order to make this a 2 is to 4 decoder? So, A2, A1, A0 are, you know, three inputs. So, all I have to do is connect A2 to 0 always, okay? So, you look at this, uh, of course, there is an enable here, right? So, the enable is going to come here, okay? And... So, if you look at this whole idea of the truth table, right, A2, A1, A0, right, it's, it's very simple, whenever A2 is 0, depending on the combination of A1 and A0, one of the outputs will go high, okay. So, this may be useful to sort of uh, show here. So, I have enable A2, A1, A0, Y0, Y1, all the way to Y7. Okay, I'll write out Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, all the way to Y7. I'm not going to worry about uh, Y4 to Y7. Yeah, this makes it easier. Okay, so if the enable is 0, doesn't matter what these inputs are, every output is 0 here, right? This is my 3 is to 8 
decoder okay if the enable is 1 this is 0 0 0 4 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 uh, sorry 1 1 0 1 1 1 okay and then beyond this uh, oh I am sorry a2 is also 0 0 here yes 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 yeah now beyond this a2 will go to 1 for 4 different values okay 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right so if you look at this truth table here y0 will go high uh, everything else will be 0 here y1 will go high here y2 will go high y3 will go high and then it is you know the y4 and then so on till y7 right so if you simply focus on just the top half of the truth table right which is basically this and i will even focus not up to y4 i will focus only up to y3 uh, yeah right so if you focus on this you will see that all you have to do to this 3 is to 8 decoder is to tie a2 to 0 and then that simply behaves like a 2 is to 4 decoder right so all i have to do is simply bring out these pins right this interface of a1 a0 i am going to bring out i will call it a1 a0 right uh, maybe for notational you know so that there is no confusion let me call this as b1 and b0 okay and this is y0 prime y1 prime y2 prime y3 prime okay then i will label this as b1 b0 okay my enable is of course just the same thing i will call it enable or you want to call it enable prime to make it different yes and then all i have to do is bring y0 y1 y2 y3 out y0 prime y1 prime y2 prime y3 prime and the other inputs right i don't care y4 to y7 are essentially simply left floating right these are unused outputs of the 3 is to 8 decoder right so this idea of you know uh, using one already built block right so when you think of a large design you will be building many such blocks like this in order to make your you know top level block now it doesn't mean that every single block has to be constructed from these basic logic gates it's not going to be efficient and therefore we need to be able to think of how to reuse existing modules that we have built in order to construct other circuits and that is what we are in pursuit of in this particular lecture right and in this particular week i would say okay so this was uh, a rather uh, straightforward uh, you know implementation that we had because it was going from a higher level block that is a superset right to a subset and therefore it was very easy we just had to use a subset of the inputs and ignore certain other outputs and we were literally done okay